little Happy New Year's special. So when I was a kid growing up on New Year's Eve, my grandfather always, Pap always made uh, pork and sauerkraut. He usually did like a pork roast with sauerkraut, roasted it, delicious. So mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna make a pork stew. But what I did is I have some pork shoulder here, about like one and a half an inch stew. And I've been browning in batches with electric. You can in real quick, see how to make nice golden brown. That's what you need to do. So do it in some batches. Get that good color on it. Takes about five, six minutes to get them all done. Onion, celery, carrots, basic mirepoix, um, that we're just gonna cut into real large chunks here. Three stalks of celery, one to two carrots, depending on the size, uh, one onion, a ham hock, sauerkraut, stock, potatoes. Onions are gonna go in next. Celery, carrot, bay leaf, and I'm gonna put in a pretty good pinch of salt and let these sweat out. Also, if you're a lover of garlic, you could put some garlic uh, in here with your vegetables. And you're just letting those vegetables break down a little bit. I have chicken stock, that's what I had in house. You know, a beef stock would work fine too. Even a mushroom stock, a neutral stock. So stock and cider. We put the stock in first. Once the stock goes in, I'm gonna go up to a high heat. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the pan with the wooden spoon because all those great little brown bits that form uh, when we're browning our meats, you want to bring those back up into your stock and your liquid because there's tons of flavor down there. Bay leaves go in, ham hock tuck in. This is going to give it a little bit of saltiness and smokiness, tons of flavor. We could pull that meat off the ham hock at the end. We're going to put in our sauerkraut. <clears throat> the key is here, sauerkraut and pork are lucky together. This is going to simmer for about 35, 40 minutes. When the meat is about if you were to taste it, probably about three quarters of the way tender, you're gonna add in your potatoes. And then the potatoes are going to cook through the rest of the way. Add in our cider now. We're over high heat. We made one ahead of time over here. So take a look at this guy. You can hear the meat's cooked, potatoes are tender, ham hock is tender. And you can see that the pork is just gently breaking up. I'm gonna add some chili flakes because it's just how I like it. We're gonna cut up some fresh dill and some fresh chives. Now I'm bringing this liquid back up to a simmer behind me, and I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna throw in all these fresh herbs. Now I'm gonna drop that off. Give this a nice stir, and those herbs are gonna release all their natural oils and fragrance, fragrance and they're gonna be fantastic. Pull out this ham hock has been cooking, and there's some really good meat on it. So you just kind of pull back some of that skin. I save it because you could chop up the skin and fry it and get it crispy, delicious. Um, but any of that meat on there, and there's usually going to be a good amount, you could just push off any of that additional meat and chop it up and put it back in your stew. Pork and sauerkraut, always lucky. Just a little bit of that sour cream on top. I mean, look at it. I mean, that is just, forget lucky, it's just a bowl full of goodness. Mm. A lot of those great Eastern European flavors. I put in the chili so it has a nice tight little bite to it. Freshness of the herbs, richness of the pork, the smokiness of the ham hock. That's as good as it gets. Happy New Year, everybody.